I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss wave function. Now wave function is basically combination of sine and cosine function. If you sketch this function you get a graph which could be uh, which could be like this for example like this. So it will be a, a stretched out sine wave right where you know uh, slightly shifted to the right if you are looking from the cosine angle. So that is the kind of wave which you call and we treat them as wave functions. They find huge applications in simple harmonic motion and many other examples. Now in this particular video we will try to understand how to get equation of this wave. A general equation of this wave could be written as a cos theta minus b sin theta. So let me write down this general equation okay or let me highlight this equation right so in general we could describe this wave as a cos theta minus b sin theta combination of cosine and sine function right now using the knowledge of compound angles we can actually write down this combination of function as r of cosine theta minus alpha rather a single trigonometric ratio. So when we write in terms of single trigonometric ratio then we can graph it, find maximum, minimum and can do lot of stuff with that right. So so that is the utility with r cos theta minus alpha type of an equation where r becomes stretch factor and alpha is translation horizontal. Now let us understand how to relate these two things right a equation which is combination of sine and cosine with another equation which is cosine function right so let us expand the right hand side which is r of cos of theta minus alpha we'll use the compound angle formula to expand it so we get r times cos theta cos alpha plus sine theta sine alpha right so that is the compound angle formula which has been applied directly now in this particular case if you compare with the left side so that is the left side for us then what do you notice you notice that cos theta is already there so a should be equals to r times cos alpha right so comparing these we can write a as equals to r times cos alpha r times cos alpha and b as equal to in this case sin theta sin theta is there but sin alpha since we have minus b here let me write minus b as equals to r times sin alpha r times sin alpha so straight away we get two different equations right so let me name these equations as 1 and 2 now to get the value of r and to get the value of alpha these are two variables for us we can actually divide one equation by the other then what do we get so if I divide equation 2 by equation 1 in that case I get minus b over a equals to r sin alpha divided by r cos alpha right now r r cancel out we get tan alpha so from here we can find what alpha is so that gives us alpha as equals to tan inverse of minus b by a you get it so that is how we can relate alpha with the given equation. To find the value of r, what we can do is we can square these two equations and add them up, right? So square and a add, right? So let, now let us square and add our equation 1 and 2. So if we square and add, on the left side we get a square plus b square right square of a and square of b minus b square becomes plus b square equals to r square 
cos square alpha plus r square sin square alpha. So that gives us r square is common cos square alpha plus sin square alpha. Cos square alpha plus sin square alpha is 1 so we get r square. So from here we can write down that r is equal to square root of a square plus b square. Right? For most of our cases we will take r as just positive. Right? So in general you see we can write any equation which is combination of sine and cosine in this particular form and where alpha is equals to tan inverse minus b by a and r is square root of a square plus b square correct so if i give you a question for example if the equation is let us say 2 of cos theta plus 3 of sine theta and we have to write this equation in this term how do we do it we can actually find r by adding squares of these right so we get r as square root of 2 square plus 3 square that is r right times cos of theta whatever angle is here minus alpha alpha will be tan inverse of minus b over 2 right so that is how you can actually write any combination of sine and cosine as a cosine function and now from here we can sketch this function we know what is the maximum value right which is square root of 2 square plus 3 square square root right so likewise we can do many related questions now from here onwards I think you got the base and what we can summarize here is that a cos theta minus b sin theta is equals to r times cos of theta minus alpha where r is equals to square root of a square plus b square and alpha is tan inverse of minus b by a. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.